You may be seated. Everybody's okay. Friends, we are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Kayla Jo Pomeranke and Nicholas Paul Violet in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God, who created us male and female for each other. With his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee, and in his sacrificial love gave us the example for the love of husband and wife. Kayla and Nick come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. I ask you now in the presence of God and these people to declare your intention to enter into union with each other through the grace of Jesus Christ who calls you into union with himself as acknowledged in your baptism. Kayla, will you have Nick to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others be faithful to him as long as you both shall live nick will you have kayla to be your wife to live together in holy marriage will you love her comfort her honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others be faithful to her as long as you both shall live i will the marriage of Nick and Kayla unites their families and creates a new one. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Right. Friends and family, will all of you, by God's grace, do everything in your power to uphold and care for these two persons in their marriage? If so, answer, we will. All right, let us pray. God of all peoples, you are the true light illumining everyone. You show us the way, the truth, and the life. You love us even when we are disobedient. You sustain us with your Holy Spirit. We rejoice in your life in the midst of our lives. We praise you for your presence with us, and especially in this act of solemn covenant. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We're going to pull up. Kayla and Nick have chosen this scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, to be read today. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels but have not love, I am only a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. I think this may be the most beautiful scripture, especially for a wedding. It's no wonder that many couples pick it. My fear is that we get so caught up in the magic of the day and the familiarity of the words that we miss the message this love chapter has for us. If we look at the origins of this letter, we find that the Apostle Paul wrote it to the church in Corinth. Now, Corinth was a busy place. It was a trade center and a seaport. The people there were trying to learn their Christian faith 
in the midst of their Greek heritage. They were used to striving to have the best and to be the best. For Greek philosophers, the greatest achievement was knowledge. And knowledge was the gateway to the highest level of existence. So you can imagine how things may have gone in the church. People wore clothing to show who was richer. Others taught to show their great knowledge. And many people spoke in tongues to show their great faith. Still others tried to win that piety contest. Competition ruled the day. Does that sound like a church nowadays too? I'm afraid human nature is still the same. Perhaps the church service was a cacophony of sounds. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels but have not love, I am only a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have not love, I have nothing. Paul reminds us that all we do must be done in love. The same love Jesus showed while living on earth and the love Jesus showed in his death on the cross and his resurrection to defeat sin and death. That love is patient and kind and it does not envy, it does not boast, it's not proud. It's not rude or self-seeking, easily angered. It's a love that never fails. As Kayla and Nick and I met together, we talked about one of the most important skills a couple can have, and that's communication. I believe that communication done with love will always serve you well. If we can keep the image of Jesus before us and the love of Christ in our hearts, then our communication and actions will never fail. Paul said, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, Every relationship needs a foundation on which to build. And I believe faith is the strongest foundation available. With faith comes the assurance of a loving creator God, a redeeming savior, and a sustaining Holy Spirit. Nick and Kayla, remember this day and the placing of the cornerstone of your lives together. With a foundation of faith comes hope, the hope given through the love of God the forgiveness of sin, and the joy of eternal life. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, give us the example of self-giving love, a love for the other that Paul described to the Corinthians. God be with you as you grow in your love from this day forward. As Nick and Kayla prepare to give their vows of love to one another, let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, giver of all grace, bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit, Kayla and Nick, who come now to join in marriage. Grant that they may give their vows to each other in the strength of your steadfast love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. You can look at each other, okay? Everybody doing okay? We're all good. Nick, please take Kayla's hand and repeat after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Nick, take you, Kayla. I, Nick, take you, Kayla. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Kayla, in the name of God. In the name of God. I, Kayla, take you, Nick. I, Kayla, take you, Nick. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For richer, for poorer. For richer. <laughs> in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow.
These rings are the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of Kayla and Nick in holy marriage. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may live in your peace and continue in your favor, favor all the days of their life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Place the ring on her finger and repeat after me. Kayla, I give you this ring. Kayla, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Nick, I give you this ring. Nick, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. As you have placed rings on each other's fingers, please take a moment to consider the gift that your hands are to one another. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief temporarily comes your way. These are the hands that will, count, well, that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. They're the hands that will help give you support and encouragement to chase down your dreams. These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. These are the hands that will lift your chin and brush your cheek as they raise your face to look into eyes that are filled with overwhelming love for you. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. To symbolize the joining of your hands and your lives to create a new family, I invite you to light your unity candle. Oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of Christian marriage that in it is represented the covenant between Christ and his church. Send therefore your blessing upon Kayla and Nick that they may surely keep their marriage covenant and so grow in love and godliness together that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Nick and Kayla, you have declared your consent and vows before God and this congregation. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. 
Let us pray. Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love in making us a covenant people through our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for consecrating in his name the marriage covenant of Kayla and Nick. Grant that their love for each other may reflect the love of Christ for us and grow from strength to strength as they faithfully serve you in the world. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their heads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their lives and in their deaths. Finally, by your grace, bring them and all of us to that table where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. And let us pray now as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now that Kayla and Nick have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Those who God have joined together, let no one put asunder. To you, Kayla and Nick, God the Eternal, keep you in love with each other, so that the peace of Christ may abide in your home. Go to serve God and your neighbor in all that you do. Congregation, bear witness to the love of God in this world so that those to whom love is a stranger will find in you generous friends. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Turn around. Oh, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Violet. You may kiss the bride. 